Hey guys, welcome back to the Happy Power channel. Today I have for you guys our daily to you fresh. Everything new in the past 24 hours, which will include today's hotfix, the December crew pack, some chapter 3 leaks as always, massive spoiler warning per usual. We also have for you guys a bunch of brand new collaborations, supporter creator update, and lots of great stuff to look forward to. So we hope you guys enjoy this video. And as always, let's smash out the like goal, about 3,000 likes. Hopping directly into it, we're first covering, of course, today's hotfix. Fortnite Battle Royale V18.40, November 23rd, hotfix. Item vote plus strike from the Shadows Week by the Fortnite team. It's almost time to employ a new fighting strategy in the war against the cubes. But before that, it's time now to decide the next item to bring into the war. War effort, proc 70 launcher versus the Flintlock pistol. You guys already know I'm going definitely for the flint knock pistol. I honestly do believe, and I stand by this, that the Prog 70 launcher is a completely useless weapon. It just bounces off things, tends to not even hit what you guys are looking for, and the range is absolutely terrible. So that's my personal opinion, but leave yours down below. How do you guys feel about the Prog 70 launcher, and what are you guys voting for? The war efforts again, taking a look back at the classics, putting forth two unconventional weapons for looper's consideration with the proximity launcher launch grenades that go off by just being near someone or with the flint knock pistol by flying back for extra invasiveness and mobility when you shoot it help the war effort decide which one to bring into the get into the fight against the cubes the first to reach 100 funded from donation stations will be swiftly manufactured from the island contribute bars at donation stations for your favorite choice all right, so there you guys have it. Uh, one last thing, it's actually a brand new Fortnite uh, strike from the Shadows Week. The best ninjas know the importance of stealth. It's one thing to throw a paper bomb kunai at opponent, but it's another thing to approach in shadow form first. True, you can't use weapons in shadow form, and the Q9 is no exception. But why blow your cover before you're even within striking distance? In Strike from the Shadows Week, running from 9 a.m. ET on, on November 23rd to 9 a.m. ET on November 30th, uh, Paper, Bomb, Kunai, and Shadow Stones are all over the place. You can catch Shadow Floppers in greater numbers too, and even find them on the land. Turn into a shadow with the stones and floppers, then strike with the Kunai. Also complete themed quests and a strike from the Shadows Punch Guard. All right, so there you guys have it. Pretty cool stuff right there. Honestly, when I first saw this, I thought it was gonna be a brand new bundle for some reason, but yeah, still pretty cool. We'll leave your thoughts down below. But yeah, guys, so far, it kind of seems like the flint knock is definitely gonna be funded first as it's already kind of taking the lead. So we'll see. Also, in case you guys don't actually know this, there's a brand new point of address right now on the map. So this is actually the first stage of it and there will be a few more stages. So make sure you guys keep up with that here on the channel. We also have for you guys a brand new collaboration. Uh, it's actually Fortnite or Epic Games, I should say. X Harmonix, I'm pretty sure. And I'm also pretty sure these are the guys that made Guitar Hero or something similar to that. I'm almost positive. So I assume we'll be seeing some pretty cool music as far as music tracks in Chapter 3 and so on and so forth. We also have for you guys some Chapter 3 stuff as always. I know you guys absolutely live for this stuff. Here are the collabs that were mentioned in the Apple vs Epic Games documents, but did not happen just yet. Most, like, most likely all for Chapter 3. Which ones are you most looking forward to the most? And of course, we have Lady Gaga's upcoming concert, Samus Aran, Katniss Everdeen, The Rock, very, very cool. The Bride, John McClane. Uh, we also have for you guys Snake Something, and I believe all the single ladies emo by Beyonce. So, and I'm assuming there's actually lots more stuff, to, such as the stuff we know so far, which of course is Spider Man, uh, The Matrix. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. I think it's like Boba Fett and something else. So yeah, lots of collaborations in Chapter 3 that we are already aware of. So cool stuff right there. Also, a very cool weapon for the Flint Knock, which is actually quite a good timing because we just talked about that. Uh, the upcoming Chapter 3 weapon that Epic are working on sounds like a buffed Flint Knock. Comment to Legendary. Clip size of 5, fire rate of 1, damage 27 to 32, headshot multiplier times 4, reload time 5.5 to 6.5 seconds. It has double weapon delay of 1. of 1.25 seconds, and it pushes you back slash up. So just like the flint knock pistol, but this time uh, essentially more buff. So more damage and overall just is better. So cool stuff right there. Uh, I guess uh, Epic Games is really experimenting with weapons in chapter three. We also have for you guys a new teaser from Ford and Australia, which if you guys were keeping up with this, we know for a fact that uh, Ford and Australia's Twitter page was just created and they've been posting teasers all week long. And today, here's the brand new teaser. Do you come from land down under? 
So it's kind of teasing that there's going to be an upcoming creative map, which possibly will also feature some free rewards, as of course, a lot of people have, no have no noticed that the actual page is replying to a lot of people with teasers. Another potential emo teaser from Fortnite ANZ. Thunderstruck is a song by the Australian rock band ACDC. So yeah, we could be seeing an ACDC emote at some point, and to top things off, we could also be seeing this as a brand new emote. I swear, if there's an emote from Down Under by Men at Work, I will lose my mind. And they basically put I emoji, so yeah, definitely coming. And uh, so yeah, that's actually pretty cool stuff right there. Definitely curious to see what your theories are as far as what they're actually teasing. And don't forget, they also tease some coordinates, so it could be also an in real life event. In other news, we also have for you guys, there might be an upcoming Discord X Fortnite collaboration soon. And of course, it shows two free rewards. That's also the possibility of coming out relatively soon. Uh, we also have for you guys a December crew pack embrace cubism with a December crew pack. In Assassin's fashion, the cube assassin comes with accessories. In, in addition to her reactive outfit, the December crew pack includes the intricate, the cubist back bling, and cube composed edge, uh, cube edge pickaxe, and the glyphic assassin's mark wrap. How is the cube assassin outfit reactive? The more eliminations you get in the match, the more its purple pulse spreads across it. You can turn the effect off by selecting the outfit's alt style. There's a good chance you fought her countless times in Chapter 2 Season 8 sideways, whether or not you finally defeated her. It's almost time for you to get the last laugh though. Battle as the cube assassin herself. The cube assassin breaks out the sideways in December 2021 crew pack, going live for active Fortnite crew subscribers at approximately 7pm ET on November 30th. So a few days from today, we'll all get this brand new crew pack if you are subscribed to the actual uh, crew pack services. So honestly, not quite sure how I feel about that. Kind of disappointing. I was hoping for a different skin, but overall, still pretty happy. It's a very, very clean skin. And of course, here's a full in-game showcase of the cube assassin. Finally speaking, the support of creator device in creative mode has been released to all creators. I'm not going to read this entire article as it's extremely long and we're out of time, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. I can feel